What's up, everybody? I am going to do a video series about Ranker X, how to use it, uh, what it can do, you know, things like that. I've noticed that there is not a lot of resources out there for people. I mean, I go on forums all the time, and everybody's um, asking about Ranker X and how do I do this, how do I do that, and there's no. Um, I don't know how to say it. There's no video tutorials that actually uh, use voice. And I mean, there's some video tutorials, but they don't. There's really not a person on there just explaining. It's just uh, you're watching somebody click around. So, what I'm going to do is take you through Ranker X and take you through the basics uh, of the software and just kind of show you how to get set up and then some cool tricks you can do with uh, certain campaigns and, and everything. So, so here it is. This is Ranker X. If you hover over the left side, you'll get the menu. You can look at campaigns, content buckets, blurbs, turbo wizards, which I never use. I, I only use regular wizards. Custom sites, where you can add your own custom sites. Private networks. So what you can do is you can go out and purchase um, a bunch of tumblers bunch of Tumblr blogs with high page authority, or you can use self-hosted WordPress blogs. There's a lot of platforms. But what you can do is plug them in to the private networks area and then post to those sites directly from Ranker X. So it really helps if you're managing a large private blog network or if you're managing a large network of Web 2.0 blogs. Email list, you can upload lists of emails so if you don't, Ranker X provides emails for free, but sometimes they get banned uh, from certain sites. So I've always found it good to use um, Yandex.com email accounts. They work great. Never had any issues with um, with them being banned from any any sites, and they're pretty cheap. But you know, Ranker X changes their domains here and there, but but they'll give you free emails. Site selections. I've never used this before, so I'm not even really sure what it does. Options, you know, you can do your options and, and configure the settings. Change log, you can see what updates were made uh, to Ranker X. So let's start with options because you're gonna wanna you're gonna need to know how to set up the software. So we go to options. Now it does open a new tab. And I've got proxies here, so I, I I'm I get my proxies rotated every few days um, so yeah so I just have to plug them in quite frequently now the first thing you want to do is go to general number of retries for failed submissions I only set it to two you can set it to five but if it doesn't do it after two times it's probably not going to do it the fifth time maximum number of threads I set this to a hundred because I'm using private proxies and got about 60 private proxies that I use with Ranker X. So now if you, you know, let's say you only have 10 private proxies, you can still set it to 100 threads, you know, 10 threads per proxy. Uh, but if you're using public proxies, you probably want to lower your thread count. Maximum number of browser threads. I just set this at 10 because uh, I'm again, I'm using really good proxies. So, you know, set it to the max. So then you come over here to proxies. You can, you definitely want to have this button checked. Use proxy for submission. The first time I set up Ranker X, I put my proxies in, but I forgot to check this box, and I ended up um, using my actual IP address, and that wasn't good. So make sure you check this box. Uh, you can add proxies by pasting them in. You can delete them by clicking on them and highlighting them. You can check them by clicking that button. And you can get proxies. By clicking here so if you click here I, I've, I don't I've never clicked that because I have my own from um, from instant proxies they're really inexpensive and their proxies are really good they're um, they always pass Google tests and scrape box I never have any issues and I think they're like a dollar I want to say like a dollar 25 each so not a bad deal okay so then once you've configured this, you want to click Save Changes and then click the screen to close. Next is CAPTCHA settings. So what you want to do 
is choose a capture service. I like 2Captcha. They do a good job. They're pretty cheap. My backup is DCapture. But you can pick different ones. They've got Death by Captcha, which I do not recommend. I used to love Death by Captcha because they're cheap. Um, there was a good success rate. But lately, there's been issues with their API. So I was having issues with Ranker X so using uh, Death by Captcha to solve the captchas. And then I was also having issues with GSA, Search Engine Ranker. So I stopped using Death by Captcha, and I, I love them too. They did a great job, and I even subscri used to subscribe to their monthly. Um, they had a monthly plan where if you signed up, you would get bonuses. Uh, but I because I was using them so much, but now it just doesn't even work. So I mean, I'm sure it works. It works sometimes, but it's not reliable, at least in my experience. So I use Two Captcha and D Capture. Now, if you're <clears throat> Okay, so Google has, uh, you've got no captcha and recaptcha. These are some new captchas that are really hard to break. Two captcha can solve them. And it, allegedly death by captcha can too, but again, I recommend two captcha. So you, you have to have a different, uh, you, you have to make sure that if you want to solve Google no captcha and recaptcha, you you want to, you know, put the put the settings in here, put the, put the credentials in. So... Moving on, if you use Article Builder, you can integrate with Ranker X. I don't use Article Builder, but I do use Content Machine. So I've got my API key plugged in there. Content Machine is fairly helpful. If you have a spinner, you can use the built-in spinner, or or you can use um, Spin Rewriter, the best spinner, Word AI. Yeah, I mean they've got all the spinners pretty much, all the popular ones. So. I just use the built-in spinner. In fact, I don't even, I don't even use, um, I don't even spin from Ranker X. I just import the articles from either Content Machine or SEO Content Machine. I, in fact, I prefer SEO Content Machine for importing Ranker X articles. So again, you can use the spinner inside of Ranker X. It's an all-in-one. You know, Ranker X is kind of an all-in-one solution, but I personally don't use it. If you have ultra spinnable articles, you can connect. Uh, you can connect here, and then you can order. You can order articles, uh, and so you can. You have to check here to allow Ranker X to spend your credits in the marketplace. I don't use this, but some people do. Indexer. I use Indexification because you get fifty thousand links a month for seventeen dollars. Or, or no, I'm sorry, you get fifty thousand links per day. For seventeen dollars a month, I mean it's I mean that's just insane. I mean that's a really good deal. Now the success rate is not always the best, so you I mean it's not bad. I mean for seventeen dollars a month for fifty thousand links a day, I mean that's a good deal. I'm just building so I build so many links that you know if I were to use something like Backlinks Indexer. You know, I could be spending hundreds of dollars a month on indexing. So I just use indexification. And, and again, if your content is good, it's going to get indexed anyways. But, you know, you could, but I, I use indexification, but it does support almost every indexer that you can think of. So, you know, if you're using something different, you just put the API key in. And then block sites. So if you want to block a site, you can. Uh, so if you want to add a site, so, so Ranker X comes preloaded with sites. You can put it, you put one of them in here, and then it will not post to that site. Or you could just not select it uh, from the from the module. But if you're using the wizards, you would want to put the blocked sites in here. I don't block anything, so you know, but you can if you want. So that are the those are the Ranker X options, and then. So if we go to campaigns. Now this is if you're doing things manually. A lot of people use wizards, but I do I do a lot of it manually. I mean, I'll use the wizards sometimes, but you know, for me, I like to have control over things. So you just click on add new and name your campaign. So we'll just call it test one. And you hit save. Now to enter the campaign. You click on the I. So 
to put it into perspective, let's say you're working on five different projects for clients. You would want to make a new campaign for each client. And then from inside the campaign, that's where you manage the projects. So that's where, that's where you manage uh, individual link building projects. So this is the main uh, campaign dashboard once you're inside of the campaign. If, if I had projects, they would be listed here. Profiles are the accounts that you create. So we'll look at that more later. But basically, if you want to create a bunch of Web 2.0 accounts and sell them to somebody, you would just come over here, export the profiles, and then send them to you know whoever you're selling them to. Okay, link sets. Link sets are where RankerX gets its links from. So you would want to put your money site in here you would want to create in fact we'll do that now so you want to add a new link set we'll call it money site hit save and then you have to go into the link set now here you can import URLs so if you want to copy and paste a bunch of them you do it in this format so the X doesn't really mean anything it's just I don't know why they they had to use the X instead of just the pipe, but um, you put the URL, the anchor text you want to use, and then the number of links on the page. So, or you can just put the URL in. So we'll just put the URL in. You got to add the HTTP. And then uh, we'll just do example.com. Then we'll hit save. Now another thing you can do, so if you, you can also add anchor text in a different way. So if there's one link, if you're only using one link for your money site link set, okay, you can come over here to keywords. You can do it if you're using multiple links, but you won't have any control. So for example, if I have example.com and then example.com slash product, I may want different anchor text for example.com slash product than I do for just example.com. So if you're, if you're using multiple links and you want different anchor text, you need to use, um, you, you don't want to use this. You don't want to use the keyword section. But in this case, you know, I, I, I'm going to. So use keywords and you, this is your primary keyword. All of these except spin tax. So let's just put, um, you know, we can put dog food there and then or we could put you know if we want to do spin tax we could put dog food dog treats secondary could be pet supplies generic um, click here the naked URL so you can adjust the percentages like that and then just hit save so now we've got our keywords entered and then you always have to click the screen to close so every time you do something generally you just have to click the screen um, which is odd but you have to do it so yeah so that's our link set um, you can also import and then of course you can export you can export it with the URL only which is a text file, or you can export it with the URL and the PR, which is now uh, RankerX has replaced PR with domain authority. So that is how you mess with the, uh, how you add your money site. Now, you also use link sets to, to save the output from projects. So if I go out and make um, a bunch of Web 2.0s, I'm going to save those to a link set. And the, that way, when I export the link set, I can send it to a client and say, oh, hey, here's, here's a list of the, the, prop, the web properties that I made, and here's where your link is, is placed. So that's what link sets are used for. So for projects, we just click Add New. Every project begins, everything begins with account creation. So basically you want Ranker X to go and make accounts for you. And so we're going to put, let's just for fun, let's just do um, web 2.0 accounts. 
and I'll usually put tier one. Um, depending on which tier I'm making the accounts for, in this case, we'll pretend it's tier one. So we hit save, it makes the project, and then you just click the I. So this is the main account creation screen. Now, as you can see, it's got a ton of different sites. So you can create, you know, a bunch of different accounts. Um, so for example, it has press release sites. So what you can do is just go to the module, go to press release, and then hit filter. And then it'll show you all of the press release sites. Now it's only got a few. So it's definitely not uh, Ranker X's strong point. But we can look at, you know, it does bookmarking. Um, premium are the good sites. So when you, when you see premium, so for example, if we use social network premium, and then we sort it by domain authority, we will see that, like, here's all the good ones it can create. So it can create Tumblr, LiveJournal, um, Foursquare, Storify, Jimdo, um, just all these Web 2.0 sites, Fullerton.edu, Rebel Mouse, um, just everything. It's got like every site you could probably think of. And then it tells you whether it's do follow or not. Now, Ranker X cannot create Facebook or Twitter accounts. But if you've purchased Facebook or Twitter accounts and you want to manage social signals or you want to create social signals, you can add Facebook and Twitter accounts into your private network section and manage um, and create a bunch of social signals. So this is really awesome. And I've never seen anybody do it before, but you can do it. I mean, I've done it on a small scale. But, I mean, I don't have a thousand Twitter accounts uh, sitting in a private uh, network here, here in Ranker X. But I have placed, you know, five or six Twitter accounts into a private network just to test it. And it does work. I mean, it's really cool. You, I mean, Ranker X, you could use it for just so much. Um, it is the you know go-to tool, and I really just, I mean, I highly recommend it above, you know, everything else for tier. I mean, I re recommend it above for everything else. Um, I'm sorry, above everything else for tier one link building. Um, you know, GSA search engine ranker is obviously the best. You, know, you can get the most links. Um, you know, for tier two and tier three. But but Ranker X is just the best thing ever. So yeah, so let's do this. So let's create a bunch of premium accounts. So we click edit, and then we will click select, which selects all of them. And we'll we'll uncheck Facebook and Twitter. I mean it won't it won't try to post to them, but just uncheck it. And then next thing we want to do is come over here to account info. So we have to make an account profile to save our accounts to. So what I'm going to do is click new account profile, social network accounts. And then, boom. There we go. And then you come over here, do that. Now here's where you can download a pre-created email. You can download an email from your email list, or you can enter one yourself um, if you click verification info. But we'll just download a pre-created one, and it and then you can hit generate random info, and it creates first name, last name. Now I'll change these because you know I'm I'm based in the USA, and you know if I'm working with a USA-based client, if there's not too many people named. Uh, Thisted Clancy in the U.S. So I'll change these to like, you know, Mike. Lester's pretty cool. Uh, we can do Jason. We can do um, Alan. We can do Miles. We can do Tom. And then um, Kevin. And then we can do Hank. And then it, you know, it does the usernames. So, you know, you're gonna end up with usernames like Clef, Taste, Smoke Path, Risk Roll, Dancer Makeup, 
Joseph, comma, March Singer, Smoke B, Butter B, Butter Cake. Um, and then there's the password. So it creates a password for you. So what we will do, oh no, if you want to, if you want to add your own email, don't worry about changing this. I'll, unless it's, unless it's IMAP and you can usually just leave it set for pop three, um, how hotmail outlook. But you know, if you click custom email, you just click IMAP pop, whatever you want to do, um, enter the email, the password, the email password, the server address, which for Yandex, I use imap.yandex.com. And then you enter the server port, which for IMAP, it's usually 993. And then, and then you just hit, you can hit test email. But we're going to go back to using theirs. And we'll just hit, oh, it's not going to work. Oops. So we go back over here, download pre-created email. Let's try it again. See that it's successfully logged in. Click to close. Now what I always do when I'm running a project, I like to go back to the site list. First I hit save changes. So you can save your project. And I always go back to the site list to see because it will actually show you the progress. And then you can schedule it. So you can start it on a date at time. Or if you're you can start it after another project. So if you're doing a, doing it manually, so this is your first project. This is account creation. But for your next project, you might want to go out and post to those, um, those social network accounts. So for the second project, you just, if you want to schedule it, you just click start after project and then you click the project you want it to start after. But we don't want to schedule it. We're going to do it right now. So then you just click start project. And then it comes down here and it shows you um, what's running. So we can see that some of them fail. And sometimes it fails just because of the email you're using. If you're using a, a mail.ru email account, those fail sometimes. I've seen them fail with certain, uh, certain platforms. But if you're using Yandex or if you're using... Um, What's another one? If you're using Hotmail accounts that you purchased, I mean those are gonna those are gonna pass every time. So you can see it made me a Tumblr account, it made me a WordPress blog, it made me BraveNet, um, Brown Paper Tickets, FC2. So you can see that the success rate is pretty high. It failed for Rebel Mouse, but I think Rebel Mouse is actually. Um, I think they've stopped letting people create blogs on their site. So that's, you know, that's no big deal. Blog.com has failed. Um, our stage. So it looks like that one failed because of the CAPTCHA. So whoever was typing the CAPTCHA failed. Um, and you can see here this one failed. It says signing up, so it did go back and retry it. Oh, and see here, vision. KZ says, please use another email address. So that's example of one that um, is not willing to accept the, the Ranker X emails. And then this one failed. It looks like the CAPTCHA was not doing good. This one failed. This one is failing. So they're going to fail sometimes. I mean, the, you know, websites constantly update their stuff. You know, they constantly update their login pages to prevent spam. Uh, and what programs like Ranker X do is they basically go visit a website and look for certain code to click on to type into. So let's say I'm say I'm Tumblr, for example, and I am getting a lot of spam accounts created. If I go in and I change my change some of the code on my registration page, now all of a sudden Ranker X can't find the code that it was using previously to post to, so it's going to fail. But the, you know the Ranker X team they do a really good job of updating. I mean, there's updates like almost every two weeks. And they're constantly removing dead sites and adding. You know they add new sites. So so out of 
So let's see, we got 53 sites successful, 16 failed. Uh, so that's not bad. So it looks like what there's a total of 69 sites, and we didn't we, we weren't able to hit 16 of them, but you know that's okay. And then what it does is going in, it's verifying the emails, and we'll just wait for it. <clears throat> but actually, you know what? We we won't we won't wait for it. Let's go back to campaigns. And it tells you here if there's something, if there's a project running. Um, so we can see here the project is running. Now, if I wanted to make a new project, maybe I want to post to those. Just click whatever project type you want. So in this case, it's social network. We'll just do SN1. And then we go into it. And what we want to do, I mean, from this place, so... First, you want to click edit, but you could click select and select all of them, and it's only going to try to post to the sites where there's an account, but for whatever reason, I always just filter it. So I've, I know I've only created accounts for premium sites, so I can just hit select, and it only selected the premium ones. See? So now we go to content info. We want to, and this is where you choose your account profile. So you just click social network accounts. Output link set. This is the link set where your, your links are going to get stored from this project. So we only have one link set and it's our money site. So we need to hit add new link set. We'll just put SN1 and I always just put output. So that's kind of my little process then you come down here and find it now your content bucket so we haven't set up any content buckets yet so and it's gonna here so let's go to the content manager so we come over here we click new content bucket and I'll just put test because it's our test project Now, RankerX does allow you to um, to grab articles, so you can click New Article, and they'll let you download ten free articles per user per day. So, in this case, I mean, let's just—I mean, I don't know what which even one to pick, but let's do um, you know affiliate marketing. So then we just click download content from article builder. Boom. There's our article. Now we have to generate a spun variation. Now this is where you can use, you know, spin rewriter, word AI, but I didn't set up because I don't ever spin from here, but I'll just use built in spinner. Boom. It spins it. It also, oh, and then you have to generate author name and bio. Then you just hit preview article. So know what to do when pursuing affiliate marketing. <clears throat> and, you know, it's not too bad. You know, it's not too bad of a uh, spin here, but, you know, whatever. It's not It's not going to be as good as Word AI, but, I mean, it's free. And you can use it for free, so it's a good thing. And then you just hit Save Changes. Click to Close. So there's our article. Now, what I like to do is download articles from Content Machine. So you click, just use the API, you know, and just find your, uh, if, if you don't see your Content Machine project, you have to click Update Campaigns. But, so this is going to download articles. It does take it a moment. So we are going to just wait for this. Boom, there it is. <clears throat> now, I'm doing a sort project in GSA, so I just had some content here, but uh, it's about dogs. So it tells you how many times you've used the article. 
And if you go into an article, I know there's a place where you, you can actually set limits. I don't have to find that, but oh, here it is. Number of times an article can be used. So you can put one or, you know, I'll just put 10. So it's only going to be able to use each one of these articles 10 times. I mean, I recommend maybe two, but just for fun, we're going to put 10. And then now if you want to import, you can import them or import them with the file name is the title of the article. So those are two options you can do. With SEO Content Machine, which is my favorite, you have to, um, you have to import them. It's not automatic, but I think SEO Content Machine gives you way more features and it gives you a lot more. It, I think the quality is better than Content Machine, but Content Machine is a lot faster in terms of getting articles into applications. Like with GSA SER, you can use the Content Machine API. Ranker X, you can use the API. Um, so with SEO Content Machine, if you're listening, creator of SEO content machine, you should set up an API so that people can pull articles directly from your software uh, and more people would buy it because the quality is definitely better than content machine. So, so there you go. So now we've got our content bucket set up. We just come over here, we'll click our content bucket. So now this is where you choose which link set you want to use. Make sure use link set is selected. And then you get to pick a link set. So I'm going to use, um, you know, if you're doing tier one, you want to use your money site. How many links per post? You can do two. So if you have a link set that has multiple links in it, you might want two links or three on each page. So, but in this case, we only have one link in our link set, so we just want one link. And then the percentage of posts that have links. So we want to do 100%. So we hit save. And then you can do it by doing, uh, you can put the, you can replace a keyword in the article. You can put the link at the top, the bottom, between sentences, between paragraphs. Replace. I mean, it's just a lot of different options, but we'll just do, I'll do top on this one. Now there are blurbs. Blurbs contain links, so it's like just a little, um, it's like a blurb, it's, you know, it's what it is, it's a few short sentences, and it would have a link in it. I'm not using blurbs, so we're going to leave that unchecked. And you can insert images into the content. So for, you know, for right now, I'm not going to click that, but that is an option. And then you have to put tags in for everything, so... You, and you have to press enter to insert the tag. So for whatever reason, for every single project, even if the project doesn't involve tags, you have to put tags, which is fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So it looks like we've got our site list. We got our site selected. We've got, so we'll save everything. And then let's uh, see what we got here. Now, remember, some sites failed from before. Okay, so some sites we don't have accounts for, like Rebel Mouse, we don't have an account for that. Same with like Live Journal, looks like DeviantArt, we don't have an account for. So some of the sites failed right away. Some of them are going to fail when you go to um, make the post. It's just, you know, a fact of life. Some of them just fail. So like here's one, Daily Strength, it failed. Let's see if we can figure out why. Because it did, you know, it, it was successful in creating an account. Yeah, it doesn't really say, you know, why it failed. Let's see if uh, we can expand that. It's not letting me expand it. I don't care, though. I don't care anymore. It's just some just know that some of them are going to fail. But we're getting a lot of success. So Tumblr was a success. WordPress was successful. Um, you know, look at all these. 
all of these are brand new blogs with with our link embedded and they're mostly do follow I mean look look at all these do follows look at all of that boom it's one that's still running for whatever reason this particular site is slow I don't know what it is but it just seems like it's always like the last one left running so we're gonna have to wait for that one to finish I mean, we don't have to we could stop the project now we'll give it a couple more seconds but yeah see we did have some failures but look we got 42 sites now had we used our good email address we probably could have gotten more but that's just we used a crappy email that was banned from some places so and web 2.0 platforms are getting really good at detecting spam they're just getting good at it so so this is what we've done so we've got those now let's move let's go over and look at our link sets and the project completed so go back to our campaign let's go to link sets we got 42 links I want to try to find the WordPress one to show you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Here, let's do this. Let's export the URLs. Let's open up. There we go. So, I'm just trying to. Or here's Jimdo. Let's go get the Jimdo one because Jimdo is a really good. Uh, really good site I like it um, a lot of people like using Jimdo oops I just deleted it all right so let's see how our oops so here's our Jimdo post and let's see how it turned out Look, home about contact your child's first pet. So there's our link in our with our anchor text. And I just generally I would put that in the uh, somewhere in the page, but just for fun I put it up top so we could see. But here's the article. And so what we're going to end up with is stuff like this. So I mean, you know, you can go back and change that later if you want, but you know, if you're just spamming, you don't have to. But if you're making this for like a super nice tier one uh, network, then what you may want to do is go back in and really like tweak the sites or just hire a VA to go in and just make little changes. And plus, you know, sometimes they'll get deleted too if they look if they look extra spammy like this one. And this one looks pretty spammy. So I would imagine it's going to get deleted at some point. But again, I'm just going through these uh, just to show you how to use the software. So we're not really trying here. Um, let's look at another one. Let's try. I really wanted to see the WordPress. It's just so much text to. Uh... Here's the Tumblr. Let's look at the Tumblr one. It would be really nice if if Ranker X would um, would let you let you add, like make it possible to add profile pictures and name the blog that's asking a lot but it would be nice so yeah there you go there's the and then see here it did put the tags in here at the bottom um, boom so there we've got our nice uh, tier one network built and we got 42 blogs on tier one in just a few minutes I mean it's really fast so close out of that and then, so that is how you create accounts and post to sites using Ranker X. I'm going to make another video that goes into more detail because we need to talk about uh, wizards and blurbs. Um, I want to show you how to import the email list, how to set up a private network, and then how to add custom sites. So that's it. That is the tutorial. Like it and share it. Post it on Black Hat World so people can see that there are there is a tutorial.